G'day everybody, where's Wally here? While we all wait for Elon Musk to do his thing and pop Starship into orbit around the planet, which is going to be really, really great, I thought we'd have a little bit of a flashback to the first time he did something fun and fantastic with his Red Roadster. I made this video quite a few years ago, so please forgive me if it's a little bit rough, but please enjoy the fun that was Starman. Oh, and P.S. There are still flatties out there who really love to hate on Starman. I wonder why. G'day and welcome from Where's Wally. It's time to update my video on SpaceX Starman and the Australian Crocodile Cloud. Originally I showed that the cloud was visible on Humawari 8 and Epic Discover as well. I have since found that a few more camera angles that comport with reality. A link to the original version is in the description below. Taken on the 6th of February at 2200 UTC, the first image from Starman here has Western Australia, the morning terminator, and above Starman's head is a distinctive crocodile cloud that we will be watching. Next is the Himawari 8 showing Australia in all its glory and is taken at a, roughly the same time. And the crocodile cloud is again very visible over Western Australia. Next we have an image from Starman's second orbit, again, that showed the crocodile cloud over Western Australia. Next we have a Himawari 8 image taken at the same time as the second orbit. Then we have an epic discover image taken from a million miles away, again at the same time as the second orbit, and it clearly shows the crocodile cloud. And then we have a Russian Electro L, which was a high resolution image, which I finally dug up from the FTP server, it was not easy to find. And again, as we zoom in on the crocodile cloud, it's clearly there and visible. The ISS was over Tasmania during Starman's first orbit of the Earth. The matching clouds are circled in red to make them easier to see. Can you see the ISS down there? Well, of course you can't see the ISS. It is way too small at that scale. It's at 120 metres long versus the 12,000 kilometre diameter of the Earth. It's about order of five magnitude smaller, so of course you won't be able to see it. During Starman's second orbit, the ISS was now over Western Australia and passed over the croco cloud. The ISS passed over the cloud, but it was so low and too close. Funnily enough, you could only make out the mouth as it passed behind the ISS. So, while we look at this peaceful view from 5,000 km away, remember that we saw that the video feed from Starman was showing the exact same cloud feature.
pictures as the other space-based cameras were showing. And also note that there are There is also CubeSats with cameras, and the current number in the constellation is in the order of 100 or more. Then during this time it passed through the inky darkness of the shadow of the earth and then slowly a star man appears and it was followed by some cosmic flashes, some city lights were able to be seen on the earth and then there were some storms and lightning were clearly visible and flashing in the background. Hallelujah. 